Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World. Um, first of all, I want to give condolences to the victims in the uh, recent terrorist attacks in Paris. Um, over 120 people were killed. Um, and uh, it's just uh, a, a sad reflection of the world in which we live, um, where I think that uh, some of the policies uh, that we followed in the West, in the United States, and some European countries have um, have, have led to people around the world being very upset with the United States and, um, you know, and, and as well as European, certain European countries. And uh, I don't know if this thing is ever going to end. I, I think it's kind of difficult to fight this war because we're fighting against um, an enemy that's a little tough to catch up with, a little more evasive. But uh, that's not really what I wanted to talk about uh, today. I wanted to talk about the fact that um, you've seen just this massive outpouring of grief all around the world. Um, from people who have empathized, rightfully so, with the victims of the Paris attacks. But, you know, what's so interesting is that um, while there were 120 people who died in Paris, which has been named, you know, called an act of war um, in an international incident, um, over 400 people have been killed this year alone in Chicago. Over 400 people. And that's just one city that doesn't count the people who've died in the hoods of New Orleans, um, different parts of whether it's L.A., Houston, New York, all different kinds of, all different cities all across the country. And what's so interesting to me is that um, it's very easy for people to feel that, that grief for what the people of Paris went through. Um, and again, it, it, it's not knocking the grief. I'm not saying we shouldn't care. We certainly should. But why do we not have the same grief uh, in, uh, when little children are being slaughtered in Chicago? You know, why isn't that being declared uh, a state of emergency or uh, an incident or a set of incidents that desire, that require international attention? Um, you know, so I'm not going to say I don't care what happened in Paris. I, I really do. I want those people to be okay. But I'm also going to say I care at least as much, probably three times as much, about what happened, what, what's been happening in Chicago, the tragedies in Chicago, because you have three times more deaths. You know, three times as, as much tragedy. And unfortunately, nobody cares. And I think that what you really see is you see this inherent um, asymmetry between the value, uh, the perceived value of white life versus black life. Um, I, I think that obviously the fact that it happened all at once in Paris played a role. So let's not knock that. But, you know, I think that if you look at which city is more dangerous, which environment is more deadly? Which situation is leading to um, more um, inexplicable tragedy? Uh, there's no comparison between Chicago and Paris. No comparison at all. So um, the same. So after you, you know, rightfully grieve for the people in Paris, and change your Facebook status update and tell everyone that you're praying for the people in Paris, do do a little something for Chicago too. You know, uh, our babies are dying, and uh, if we don't care, nobody will. So that's all I really want to say. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World. And, uh, you know, again, my prayers are with the people in, in Paris. Uh, but even more so, I'm, I'm thinking heavily about the people in Chicago, as well as other cities across the country where, um, where our children are being killed. So take care. God bless. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.